Hey yeah, everyone, it's me King. Welcome back to King's Bed channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce you another job class that is the Assassin. The path of the Assassin is a difficult one. Whether in killing monster for farming EXP, MVP hunting, or in PvP, there's always other class that is better than Assassin. Now why do I say that? You need to know that Dagger weapon, which used by Assassin, will deal only 75% damage to mid and large size monster. Most of the MVP and mini is medium and large size, so your damage is reduced when hitting them. Good cards for Assassin are also mostly dropped from medium and large monster, so your damage is also restricted by the monster size. However, if you do not mind for some hardship, and most importantly, you love playing Assassin, then hop on, we are going to discuss further about the Assassin. Alright, we will be going to discuss the stat point distribution, the skill sets, and also the equipment that will be used. Assassin can wield two different weapons, Katar and Dagger. Katar Assassin relies on fast basic crit attack to deal burst damage. Dagger Assassin, on the other hand, can be divided into two play style. Basic attack attack speed type Dagger Assassin which relies on double attack to deal continuous damage and skill based vigor type Dagger Assassin which relies on skill combos to deal burst damage. In this video, we are going to discuss more about Dagger Assassin. Alright, first, we are going to discuss about the stat distribution. For both type Dagger Assassin, we will put all stat points to Strength. Strength is our main state for physical attack. By adding points to Strength, the attack damage will be increased. Now you will wonder how about AJ and Luck? You might be surprised to hear this but we do not have to put any points on AJ and Luck at all. These two states will be compensated with the equipment and cards. I will talk about this later. Alright, next is the equipment. Assassin in the beginning of the game, if the equipment is not fully prepared yet, it can feel not that powerful. To really get the assassin stronger, you need to fully upgrade your equipment to a complete setup. That being said, if you are a casual or a free player, assassin is not recommended to play. For double attack speed type dagger assassin, the main focus is to increase attack damage and attack speed. The equipment is rather easy to get. You should use the 25 level white accessories and talisman that you got from the instance. In fact, this equipment complements very well to the double attack speed type assassin state, you can use it until at higher level. You can upgrade the accessories and talisman to higher grade level to get more attack and attack speed. As for the other equipment, just use whatever good equipment that is available to you based on your level. The higher grade equipment you can get, the better. And of course, the cards that you should be focusing on are the cards that have the state to increase attack damage and increase attack speed. The good thing about Assassin is that you can slot an extra card on Dagger to a total of 4 cards. 2 cards on the right hand side and another 2 cards on the left hand side. The other weapon only can slot 3 cards. Now this setup balances out the downside of the Dagger to double attack speed type Dagger Assassin. The Dagger itself have best state for attack and vigor which do not contribute to the double attack build. So this extra slot card should be utilized to increase your attack speed and attack damage further. The white equipment if upgraded can give good state to Assassin. Of course if you can get the blue equipment, it will increase your state further. Higher rarity equipment like gold weapon and purple armor will cost a lot. So to ensure that you can fully get the benefit from your equipment, upgrade the white and using blue equipment is enough. Now move on to skill set. Double attack attack speed type dagger assassin relies on basic attack to deal damage. So the skill set is rather straightforward. So for first job class skill, up the double attack skill level to max and that's it. You can consider to increase the improved dodge passive skill for extra dodge rate at movement speed and also the poison base skill, enchant poison and venom knife skill. 
However, I suggest that you save the skill points because we will be using a lot of skill points for second job level skill when you change job to assassin. Not to mention the enchant poison need to use poison bottle to activate extra poison damage which is not economic for farming EXP. And releasing venom knife skill will have throwing knife animation which will interrupt the auto attack. We will activate this skill when we have more skill points later. You can also consider to have detoxify skill to dispel poison debuff in the party. This is useful when doing internal tower and instances whereby the monster and the bosses in some stages will have poison debuff to party members. So put one point is enough. Alright, now for second job skill. First thing first, we need to up the right hand mastery skill level to unlock the left hand mastery skill. Activating left hand mastery skill will allow us to use dagger on the left hand. So now we can use dagger on both hands. Now increase both skills to increase the attack. After that, increase the twin blade piercing skill. This passive skill will have a chance to lower the target defense so we can deal more normal attack damage. Next, put one point at venom dart skill. This skill will cause the target to take poison and take poison physical damage every second. Now use the remaining skill point to increase the poison base skill. Put enchant poison skill to 10, venom knife skill to level 5 to unlock enhanced enchant poison skill. Put it to level 10. Now most of the time we will not be using the venom knife skill, so upgrading this further will not benefit us or whatsoever. We just need to increase it to level 5 to unlock the enhanced enchant poison skill. This poison base skill will be used mostly for bosses and MVP hunts. So most of the time we will only deal damage using normal double attack. You can consider to put one point on roll away skill for that fast dash to get away from lethal damage from bosses or PvP. Now why we do not need to increase the other skills like the Sonic Blow, Green Tooth and Shadow Blades? The Sonic Blow skill when used can deal damage and also have the chance to stun the target. However, to utilize this skill, you need to land a critical damage with your normal attack. Whenever you deal a critical attack, the cooldown of Sonic Blow skill will be reduced by 1 second. So this skill is more suitable for crit assassin who can land critical attack more often, and ultimately releasing Sonic Blow skill more frequent. Next, Shadow Blade skill. This skill can increase your attack speed when used. Similarly, this skill cooldown will be reduced whenever you land a critical attack. So it is more suitable to quit assassin. Next, Green Tube skill. To activate this skill, you need first to upgrade Enhanced Hiding skill to level 5. It is better to use the skill points for other skill first before considering to up this skill. Next is the skill based Vega type Dagger Assassin. Now what is Vega? Vigor is a secondary state that can decrease your skill variable cooldown and casting or channeling cooldown time. The more vigor you have, the faster you can cast skill. Now, this build is focused on skill combos to deal burst damage to the target. So instead of adding attack speed like the double attack type, this build will focus on adding vigor to have lower skill cooldown to cast skill more often. I like to think that this build is like the wizard. But instead of dealing magical range attack, this type of assassin uses skill to deal physical melee attack. Now for the equipment, we will focus on the level 25 white accessories that have the state to increase attack and vigor. As for the talisman, we will use this one that have the vigor state. As for the other equipment, similar to double attack type assassin, just use whatever good equipment that is available to you based on your level. The higher grade equipment you can get, the better. Now, assassin skill in general do not have high cooldown. It is sufficient to have around 12 to 15 seconds of variable cooldown reduction. Add up with the dagger vigor state, you can get the skill cooldown reduction even more. So when you have enough vigor or reach around 12 seconds of skill cooldown reduction, you can change the accessories to level 40 white accessories which have physical defense penetration state and the level 40 talisman
which increase the attack to boost the damage even further. Similar for a card, we should focus on cards that can increase attack or physical defense penetration. We can get more than enough vigor from refining and enchanting the weapon, accessories and talisman. So we will focus on increasing the attack and physical defense penetration for the cards. Alright, let's move on to the skill sets. Skill based vigor type assassin as the name suggests obviously relies on skill to deal burst damage. So we will not be using double attack skill. We will use brute force, ambush and venom knife skill. To use the skill Ambush and Venom Knife, first we need to upgrade the skill before that. Increasing Hiding skill to level 5 will activate the Ambush skill. Increasing the Enchant Poison skill will activate the Venom Knife skill. Now, upgrading these 3 skill will depend on your Vigor state. For example, let's look at the skill Brute Force. My Vigor state at the moment can reduce the Bravel cooldown time by 5 seconds. So the Bravel cooldown time is 0. Now increase the skill level. We do not want to have this skill cooldown to be over our cooldown time limit. So when the skill cooldown time is over the cooldown time limit, go back one level so that the Bravel cooldown time is 0. Later, when you have higher vigor stage, you can increase the skill level accordingly. Similar to Ambush and Venom Knife skill, Upgrade the skill level according to the bigger state. Add one point to detoxify skill for the ability to dispel poison debuff. The remaining skill will be used for the second job class skill. First thing first, we need to up the right hand mastery skill level to unlock the left hand mastery skill so that you can wield dagger on both hands. Increase both skills to max. Similarly, increase venom dart skill according to your vigor state. Consider to put one point on roll away skill to dash away from lethal blow. Now I suggest to increase the Enhance Enchant Poison and Enchant Poison skill last. Why you would ask? Because whenever we upgrade our equipment and have more bigger states, we can lower the skill cooldown even further. And we need to increase Brute Force, Ambush, Venom Knife and Venom Dart skills, all 4 skills together. If you used up all skill points to increase the Poison Best skills, you will need to wait for your character to increase 4 levels to get 4 skill points to upgrade all skills to the same level. Well, that's it for Assassin Dagger Tart build. I hope this video helps you on your Assassin Dagger build. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, happy playing! Bye-bye!